Here's how we'll practice a safe return to work on campus at UTC. Welcome to the COVID-19 UTC Reintegration Safety Training. As we prepare for a new academic year, we are looking forward to interacting with our fellow MOCs in new ways. UTC cares about your health and well-being. That is why we ask that you don't see a return to campus as going back to business as usual. Instead, this is a time to establish a new routine, one in which we work collectively to maintain safety standards in our physical environments, act in consideration of other individuals, and recognize that the health and safety of UTC employees, students, and visitors is a shared responsibility. This course is intended to provide you with the information necessary to do that. Upon completion of this course, you should be able to classify your risk of COVID-19 exposure as low, medium, high, or very high based on the type of work that you do at UTC. Perform a self-check for COVID-19 symptoms each day before coming to campus. Report COVID-19 symptoms or a positive COVID-19 diagnosis. Plan professional interactions according to guidelines for social distancing. Properly wear and maintain a face mask for personal protection and the protection of others. And perform hand hygiene and work area disinfection routinely to better protect yourself and colleagues. Now we'll discuss classifying exposures to COVID-19. The coronavirus that causes COVID-19 spreads from person to person. Evidence suggests infected individuals do not necessarily appear sick. The virus can be transmitted through contact with the droplets produced when someone sneezes or coughs and settle relatively quickly onto nearby surfaces. There is also evidence that the virus spreads in smaller droplets or aerosols that can remain suspended for longer and travel further. These droplets can land in the mouths or noses of people who are nearby or possibly be inhaled into the lungs. Increasing distance between people as well as wearing a mask or other face covering reduces both the concentration and likelihood of contact with both droplets and aerosols. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, recognizes that different job responsibilities involve varying risk of exposure based on the likelihood of contact with infected individuals, frequency of contact, and proximity to other individuals. People with very high risk are those with exposure to COVID-19 infected individuals while performing procedures that generate droplets or aerosols, such as healthcare professionals and mortuary staff. People with high risk are those with exposure to COVID-19 infected individuals without generating aerosols, such as healthcare support and medical transport. People with medium risk are those with frequent and close contact within six feet of people who may be infected for a period of 10 minutes or longer. People at low risk are those with minimal occupational contact with the public and other coworkers. UTC employees are typically at medium to low risk. Nearly all UTC employees can be at low risk if each of us follows the guidelines for social distancing, personal hygiene, and routine disinfection. Now, we'll discuss work practices and precautions. UTC is now offering a self-check health survey for employees to use before they report to work. It was developed with criteria from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The self-check survey is only intended for University of Tennessee at Chattanooga employees and requires a net ID and password to access. Upon completion, an email notification is sent to your supervisor to confirm your participation and alert them if you need to be referred to university health officials regarding possible symptoms associated with COVID-19. Every day before coming to the office, you must monitor yourself and evaluate your health for symptoms of COVID-19. These symptoms include fever, muscle pain, new loss of taste or smell, headache, cough, shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, or sore throat. If you experience any of these symptoms that are not known to be associated with another cause and they are unusual for your baseline health patterns, you must refrain from coming to campus and notify your supervisor. Employees must notify their supervisor and then seek guidance from a health care provider or the Chattanooga Hamilton County Health Department regarding reported symptoms and appropriate next steps. 
Guidance provided to the employee should then be reported to the university via the Illness, Exposure, or Travel notification form. A physician statement may be required for COVID-19 related absences in accordance with HR policy. Supervisors should confirm that employees are utilizing the self-check survey daily and actively encourage personnel to stay home if they are exhibiting symptoms. All faculty, staff, and students will wear face masks when on campus unless the employee or student is in an area where social distancing is clearly possible or a non-public area in which social distancing can be maintained without risk of interacting with others, for example, a private office. Best practices for safe use of face masks include face mask must cover both your nose and mouth. Wash hands prior to handling the face mask. Do not touch the portion contacting your face. Always wash hands after touching or removing the face mask and launder daily in hot water with detergent. In the event there is a more stringent face mask policy for the area where you are on campus, the more stringent policy must be followed. Faculty, staff, and students will be required to wear face masks in classrooms and other instructional spaces during classes. Noncompliance with face mask use will be addressed accordingly in collaboration with the Office of Human Resources and the Office of Student Conduct. All employees must wash their hands upon entering their work area and prior to exiting at the end of the day. Hands must be washed after contact with frequently touched surfaces as well as before eating, drinking, applying contact lenses, or cosmetics. You should wash your hands whenever you are concerned about contact with contamination. Be sure to follow the proper hand washing technique, washing for at least 20 seconds, being sure to wash the backs and fronts of hands, between fingers and thumbs, beneath fingertips and under nails. At least 40 square feet of workspace represents 6 feet in all directions for maintaining social distancing standards. Workplace redesign efforts can include repositioning office and classroom furniture to accommodate this. Use of alternate work schedules and shifts may be used to enable social distancing in the workplace. Interaction should be conducted by telephone or technology such as Zoom or Microsoft Teams whenever possible. In-person business meetings with greater than 10 people in attendance are prohibited unless social distancing standards can be achieved. All employees must disinfect their common use work areas at the start and end of each shift as well as before the space is occupied by another user. Request resupply or disinfectant from facilities planning and management via the work order request system. Our campus supervisors will play a critical role in actively managing the reintegration plan in compliance with our campus health and safety expectations. A few particularly important supervisor responsibilities will include identify individuals able to work remotely, which may include individuals considered high risk for COVID-19. Monitor compliance of use of the self-check health survey for your direct report employees. Execute workplace redesign and alternate scheduling. Maintain proper face mask and PPE supplies for employees. Ensure all employees complete this training. Follow up on training to oversee implementation and compliance with expectations. This section covers notifying supervisors of illness, exposures, or travel. Notification of illness, exposure, or travel. If an employee reports having been asked to self-observe, self-monitor, or actively monitor symptoms compatible with COVID-19, having been in close contact with someone who has symptoms consistent with or a diagnosis of COVID-19, having symptoms compatible with COVID-19, having been tested for COVID-19 for any reason, having traveled to or through an area with widespread ongoing community transmission of COVID-19, or having traveled by cruise or traveled internationally, then employees should notify their immediate supervisor, seek medical guidance from their primary care physician or the Chattanooga-Hamilton County Health Department, and then submit a formal notification via the COVID-19 illness slash travel form. Employees submitting a notification will not be permitted to return to the campus until they have been cleared to do so by the university health officials and the Office of Human Resources. 
Eligibility for paid administrative leave will be determined in collaboration with human resources for each reported instance in which the university requires an employee to quarantine or remain off campus to monitor symptoms. This form is accessible through the UTC website. Remember, we're all in this together. This means not only protecting yourself, but also protecting others from you. OSHA classifies most of the work done by UTC employees as low risk. Let's make sure it stays that way. Assess your health before coming to the office. Observe guidelines for social distancing. Wear a face mask. Perform regular hand hygiene and routinely disinfect work areas to stay safe and healthy. If you have any questions about the material in this presentation or would like to report a health and safety concern, please contact the Office of Human Resources. You may also visit the COVID-19 Frequently Asked Questions located on the homepage of the UTC Human Resources website. Other information and resources related to COVID-19 can be found by visiting the UTC Coronavirus Updates website.